Now this wine here, this is a real treat for me to uh, this one. This is a uh, this is a Shiraz. There we go. It's the grape variety, which is the same as the Syrah grape, which is in France. Just a different name in Australia. And most of the southern hemisphere countries they call it Shiraz. And this is a little winery called Adelina. It's a three-person operation in the Clare Valley in Australia, which is a little north of the city of Adelaide, which is in the bottom of the country. The northern end, uh, people have probably heard of the Barossa Valley in Australia. The Clare Valley is actually a little offshoot of the, uh, of the Barossa. So. Pretty warm, although not, you know, in the growing season, the average temperatures are probably still only in the 70s and 80s. It's not like, you know, totally baking. Um, anyway, these vines were planted reportedly in uh, 1910, so they're 100 wow. years old. Australia has some of the oldest vines and oldest soil on Earth. And, uh, you know, it's a country that's got a, a bad reputation in the wine press the last few years because everybody knew it as the very low end, like the critter wines, they call them, you know, with the penguin and the kangaroo and everything on the label. And they really put their lot in with that. It was a project called Australia 2020 to kind of dominate, you know, that was their plan to dominate the wine world in, ter in terms of export and bulk by focusing on all this real low-end kind of marketing-driven stuff. At the other end, you had all these high, really heavy octane Shiraz that certain people in the press were championing, but the alcohol level was real high. They were real hard to drink with food. or Not very pleasant. Impressive to taste, but you wouldn't want to drink more than a glass or two. And then they have all this stuff in the middle that's great from all these different climates and different regions and the continent. It's not just a country, it's a whole continent that nobody was paying any attention <coughs> And, you know, these growers are really suffering and getting squeezed out of the market by all these other different countries. And now there's more of a focus on rediscovering some of the terroir in Australia now. And, yeah, this, so this is like all original rootstock. They never had phylloxera down there, the root mouse that kills everything. So this is all, these are all original rootstocks from Europe when they were transplanted. And remember when we talked in the first class, you know, the, the older the vine and the more buds that die out, the ones that are left just acquire you know, much more intensity in the end of the fish. So, so anyway, so this winery, Adelina, turns out that on this particular bottle, they make less than 180 cases. <laughs> and we got there were there were five cases that there it's imported by a guy in Philadelphia. And we had we had some of the Cabernet a few years ago, but we were never able to get any of the Shiraz. And the guy from the distributor said, "Have you ever heard of Adelina?" I'm like, "Yeah, they're great." And he said, "Well, you know, somebody some restaurant didn't say who it was ordered five cases of the Shiraz." And they reneged on it. And so he's like, do you want to buy it? And we made an offer, and it was, um, so we're selling it for $20, less than discount. It usually goes for 40 wow. And we own, or did before we started selling it, we had 7% of the entire output for the world. Because they only make less than, they make like 180 Can we ask what restaurant? I don't know. I, was I just actually know. I don't Boston know. Or? Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. But I think, you know, this is this is a wine truly, you know, at another level from, what most people drink for Shiraz is really nice. I mean, just excellent stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was looking at this.